It doesn't reach me, but it'll reach you. Don't worry. Oops. Decapitate me. <laughs> Good morning, everybody. It's been a while since we filmed a video like this. Um, this is our humble abode. We moved in back in October, and I've mentioned in the past that things have just been really crazy. Eduardo and I both work full time, and then we work at the bike shop on most Saturdays, so we've been really busy. But in today's video, I really wanted to just give a quick update on my bike, the Stumpy Evo, and um, share something that we did recently. So it's been well over a year since I've had the Stumpy Evo. It's really been my primary bike. I hardly ever ride the camber, but um, like Something that I've been noticing is that the front end just really does not feel as plush or as buttery as I would hope it to be. And recently we've ridden UCSC a few times and brought the GoPro out during our last trip and just watching back at that footage, um, I just really feel like that front end, like something's, something's wrong with it. That the fork is just not set up properly for me. And sure enough, on Tuesday this past week, um, our bike shop linked up with Transition and we had a little demo day and I was able to try out the, their extra small Scout. And I don't know if I mentioned before, but the Scout was actually the bike that I wanted to get before I got the Stumpy Evo. So I was super excited to ride it. And right away, what I noticed when heading down the trail was that the Scout was so much more plush and it is a, it has the same fork. And so I told Eduardo, I'm like, this bike, this is how the fork should feel. I know I should really learn how to work on my bike, um, but I really appreciate Eduardo. He helped me out um, and we brought the fork over to our bike shop yesterday. And he was able to remove the two volume spacers that were in the fork. <laughs> I don't ride the bike rough, so... Um, and you keep forgetting lower service. I don't... I did a lower service, lower leg service. Yeah, not only did, did I take out the volume spacers in, in the air air chamber, but I also pulled off the lowers, did a full, full you know, lower leg service, cleaned it, uh, put new oil on it, you know, lubed the, the fork seals, cleaned everything out. And actually, it wasn't that bad, to be honest. It wasn't that dirty, which I'm surprised because it's been almost a year and a half since we did anything in this fork. Um, but hopefully that should make it buttery smooth now. Uh, I set the air pressure to the lowest spec on the chart and um, set the rebound settings accordingly to that pressure. So I hope it's fine. If not, then I don't know what we gotta do. I know, so I'm screwed. So we're gonna install the fork this morning and go for a ride. Mm -hmm. We'll take you with us. Let's go. Bye. So who wants a review of the ride wrap? Hmm? My most uh, disliked video. <laughs> my most disliked video. No, you I got need this. Your hands. You got this. <laughs> All right, I'm gonna go do a warm up lap. Eduardo's riding a different trail, which I've done a couple times, but I'm just not very good at it. I don't want to do that as my first run. So this one's nice and easy and really chattery. So this will be fun to try out my fork. We actually dropped the air pressure to um, like just under 60 PSI. The lowest recommendation on the factory settings, according to the chart is I think 66. But when we put it around there, it still felt pretty high or it still felt pretty stiff even when we put it to about that much. So we'll see how this goes. Oh man, no, it's still pretty rough. Dang, that one hit was pretty rough. I mean, actually I'm not using 
still not using that much travel. But dude, okay, my tires, my tires are super hard. <laughs> Uh, a little better. Still not as good as the one that I rode by transition, the scout. Uh, it's frustrating. <laughs> wow. Fuck. I really suck at riding. Oh my god. Oh my god. I need to get out of here. Okay, I don't know if you can see this, but I have no idea what's going on. I swear before we left home, we put it to 60 or like even just a little under 60. Something's fishy. Yeah, so maybe I should get a new shark one or something. Maybe. I don't know what else Maybe be. it's inaccurate. Maybe. Oh shoot. Oops. Because we maybe we don't actually know what's in this fork. Okay. We'll figure we'll figure this out. <laughs> we are going to replace my brakes. <laughs> Somebody stole my beer. <laughs> so I've got I've got new pads, front and rear, and new rotors. The slightly thicker ones, right? It just two. So maybe that's it. Cause I'm just really not confident. I mean, it's not terrible. It's not, it's really not terrible for SRAM, but I think I am just wearing everything out. So it's been over a year. So let's replace those. Maybe that'll give you more confidence breaking. Yeah. Yeah.